Hello everybody, this is JD and I'm making a video for all you out there. Those who wanted to see me on the ballot, it's not going to happen. No, it's not going to happen and there's nothing I can really do to stop that because of the way the laws are written. I do want to read something to you from the Constitution it involves in electing a president. It says that each state shall appoint in such a manner as to legislate thereof may direct a number of electorals equal to the whole number of Senate and Representatives to whom the state may be entitled in the Congress. These are the electoral delegates. These are the actual individuals that go to their local state capital and actually do do the voting for the president. See, we have an electoral college, and the electoral delegates actually are the ones who vote for the president. They're the ones who really do the voting. They're the ones who select the actual president. See, the states vote, and those P votes are tie-related, tie counted, related counted and what they do is they give the electoral college basically directions the electoral delegates and those delegates then go to the capital of the state and on in December they register their vote on a certain day these are then counted the votes are counted and sealed and they are sent to the Senate and then the Senate opens them by the states and takes it and reads it records it and then at the end the one with the most electoral votes is the president so I can't be on the ballot but I can be a write-in because the states have changed it a little bit the states no longer appoint uh, most of them their electoral delegates what happens is that the candidate gets to pick his own le electoral delegates, which he will send to the capital of that state. Well, my supporters out there, you guys who want to see me on a ballot, well, unfortunately, it's not going to be. But the race is not over. I can still win this election. We could not only have an average American win the election, but the first write-in win the election. I can still be a write-in at most states. There's a couple states that don't have write-ins, and there's some that are closed now already, which I don't understand, but that's the state's legislation. They have the right to close it when they want. But that ain't what this is all about. This is about the electoral delegates. I need electoral delegates from all the states out here. I need your help. Remember when I said signatures, signatures, signatures to get on the ballots? Well, now I need the electoral delegates to be the right -ins. I am sending letters to all the states, electoral boards, telling them that I will be a right-in candidate. But I have to have names of resident legal voters. In other words, you have to be registered as a voter, you have to be of age, and you have to be in that state for my electoral delegates. And I have to send that in also. Some places I have till the first part of September. Other places I have almost till the election week. But I need you all to correspond with me. I need for you who want to be an electoral delegate for your state to represent me when we win the election. So that you can go to your state capital and you can actually vote for the president. You can be a member of the Electoral College. This is a chance for a lot of you people who would never get this opportunity because you're not high up in the quote-unquote political party system. This is a chance for you, the everyday person, to start bringing the American back into our government. This is a chance for you the everyday people to enjoy a privilege rarely ever granted to an American people. This is a chance for you to participate in something 
that our forefathers have written down that very few people. Now, what do I need? I need you, each and every one of you who support me, each and every one of you who believe in me, to realize that I'm not giving up. But we're going to go and continue as a write-in. And you will be my electoral delegate. And when we win by write-in, you will represent me and go to the Capitol. And you will cast the vote. Something that is normally not available to the average American will become available during this election. You want our government to work for you? You want our government to go the right way? You want everything to start going the way it should be in this country? You have a chance right now to start at the very beginning. So each and every one of you who believe we can do it, Send me an email. I need your name, your address, what state you live in, what voting district in your state you are. If you don't know that, give me your name and your address and age. You have to be over 18 and a registered voter. If you want to be one and you're not a registered voter yet, go and register. We need everybody to register. If you're at a college, Talk with your fellow classmates. Say, here's a chance for us to be an electoral delegate. Here's a chance for us to do something that is normally not available. He is giving us something that we would not normally see. And together we can and we will do it. But I really need your help. It's only us, and it can only be done by us. And I need it right away. Because some of these states require 20, some require 13, 15, 18. i got to give name, addresses, and ages. So I need them. Give me a phone number I can call you by. I will call you. I have unlimited local long distance in the United States. I can spend 24-7 on the phone. It ain't going to make my phone bill rise anymore. Okay? So, if you want to participate in an opportunity to do something that's rarely ever available to the average American, email me your name, your address, your age, and your phone number, and I will call you, I promise, because I need your help to get on these states as a write-in. Remember, don't vote Demo Republican, don't vote Democrat. Vote American and write in J.D. Crivo. Thank you. Have a nice day. This is J.D. for President.